Here we go. Best for last. After almost three hours, Colin apparently hasn't gotten to the point yet. Quit holding out on us, cowherd. It's the best for last. Well, people are very tough on Steph Curry. We showed you audio earlier today. KD and Russ back in Oklahoma City. There's a story that got dropped on Business Insider today how players don't put their arms around Steph and there's some disdain in the NBA for Steph. I think there's three reasons. Number one, he's small and fragile and athletes like the big strong alpha males. He's eliminated jobs. Three point shots are getting centers and forwards who can't shoot out of the game. There's resentment. And there's a little silver spoon upbringing you know, country club kid, dad had money. Let me concentrate on that last one. Del Curry was one of the great three point shooters of his era. Um, And we kind of knock Steph Curry because, well, I mean, his dad was rich. You know, his dad was an NBA star. Well, Steph is not alone in the NBA. In 2016, the Wall Street Journal did a study on pro athletes. They wanted to see how many pro athletes were related to elite athletes who played pro or NCAA or international levels. Here were the results. 49% of NBA players... That's 105 NBA players had dads who were elite athletes. 49% NFL 17, baseball 14. Let me give you some names of kids who made the pros, who came from pretty successful families. Peyton and Eli Manning, Clay Matthews, Ken Griffey, Barry Bonds, Prince Fielder, Brett Hull, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Layla Ali. So we all know it's tough to grow up in somebody else's shoes, But Steph not only grew up in somebody else's shoes, he outdid his dad. And I I really think that's something that should be celebrated and not criticized. Uh, I do believe there's animosity, and it's fairly palpable with Steph Curry. Uh, We showed that video earlier of Russell Westbrook and KD when they were in Oklahoma City sort of laughing at his defense and laughing at him and saying he wasn't a great defensive player. Uh, The story in the Business Insider today details sort of a distance, an aloofness LeBron James has had toward him. Folks, he went to Davidson. He went to Davidson. He was not drafted number one. He had early injuries. I don't think his path has been as easy as everybody thinks his path was. He didn't go to he didn't go to Kansas. He didn't go to Kentucky. He didn't go to Duke. He went to Davidson. And by the way, people in Golden State, you know this Goulet, they wanted Monte Ellis. There were people didn't want to get rid of Mon- Monte Ellis and they brought in Steph Curry and he had this injury and he was not initially celebrated. Good stuff. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.